Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Anaheim. We're about to leave our hotel room, and we're going to go to Disneyland today. What is left on the list that we have to do? Because we got a lot done the first day. The train, the monorail. Matterhorn bobsleds. Matterhorn bobsleds. Mm -hmm. Tiki room. Tiki room. Got to do tiki room. Yeah. There's other stuff. I can't Submarine remember. voyage. Oh, yes. We're trying to do everything that we don't have back. Yeah. We so. could do Haunted Mansion holiday again if we wanted. Well, if we get in the... I, I'm certainly wearing the right attire for that. Yeah. So, who knows? Maybe. But today's going to be a fun day. But first, we have something to do. I want in and out today. 97, please. Guess one. Guess 99. Number three. <laughs> So our park tickets today are Coco, Miguel, Miguel from Coco, mm -hmm. and Woody from mm -hmm. Toy Story. I like this one. Here we are back at Disneyland again for our final time this trip. Super fun. Here we are at Disneyland's Main Street USA with the Matterhorn peeking up through the back there. Which we need to ride today, Jen. Yeah. That's on the to-do list. All right, so we're gonna try something today. We noticed that Disneyland has all these different flavored churros. And I think we're gonna try as many unique flavors of churros. This is the pineapple churro with pineapple cookie dipping sauce. And the dipping sauce was $1.50 more. Yeah, it's got a cherry in it. Oh yeah. All right, how about it? Wait, I wanna try it regular first. Okay. Okay. It's pretty good. That you can do on its own. <laughs> really? That's divine. Pineapple flavored churro. The pineapple. Yeah? I'm eating a pineapple. All right, what is it with the dipping cookie sauce? This even better? Mine. <laughs> what? This is mine. Is it even better? Oh, yeah. yeah? It tastes like just double pineapple. I don't. Double pineapple, like a Dole Whip? It's almost like a pineapple upside down cake. Dip oh, sauce. okay. Yes. You want All to right. try it? Yes, I do. Actually. Reluctantly. Yes. <laughs> All right, pineapple churro. That's my favorite one. I'm telling you, this That's is divine. Good. It does kind of taste like a Dole Whip, though. Yeah. Try it That's with weird. the. It's like an upside down cake. <laughs> I told you. That's good. I'm gonna like stick my finger in there and eat it. It is like a, I can't even describe that. Yeah, but it's pineapple. That is so good. Yeah. It. You're right, it's like a pineapple upside down cake. Man, that's good. All right, hey. this is my favorite one so far. Hey, hey, can I have it back? Maybe. Yeah, so we're gonna do this today. We're gonna try all the unique Churros I'm getting the cherry at Disneyland. It's a fun challenge. Yeah, we're gonna be so high on sugar, it's not even funny. <laughs> Look at all the cool kinetic energy of Main Street. I feel like they don't do this as much in Disney World. I know they do it early in the morning and then it just gets so busy, but. It's pretty it's awesome. Funny it is busy in the morning at Magic Kingdom. Right? We're embarking on a grand circle tour of the Magic Kingdom. We'll be stopping in New Orleans Square, Mickey's Toontown, and Tomorrowland. We'll also visit the Grand Canyon and make a trip back in time to the primeval world and the age of the dinosaurs before returning to Main Street Station. Ah, look at the construction of New Orleans Square. Ah, cool, they put the concept art here. There we go. 
Welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. It's Johnny Mansion Holiday. Stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids. Sangoma is chock full of food. Here in Critter Country, you can join Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and other beloved critters on fun-filled adventures where anything can happen. Hungry Bear. Oh, we get to go over the cool waterfall now. The New Rivers of America scene. I have not done this before. As yeah. As we steam past Hungry Bear Restaurant, the rest outpost in these parts, we're now joining up in the Rivers of America and entering the frontier as it looked more than a century and a half ago. This is my favorite part of the journey. Around every bend, there's natural beauty as far as That's the eye That's pretty. Can see. Pixar show. Huh. And now we're at Toontown Station. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's as busy as it was two days ago. So that's a good sign. It is a Wednesday. You can see people stepping onto it's a small world just below us. And, off in the distance, find the real of these cars. No experience or license to the monorail. Yeah. Wow. R7 monorail. No Tron at this part.
Ah yes, the great Disneyland Railroad. Oh, I could do that all day. The time traveling railroad. Yeah. It's the I best would, part though. Yeah, it is. It is so unique, we don't have that. No. You know, after years of being at Disney World and seeing Cinderella Castle, Sleeping Beauty Castle does seem a whole lot smaller. But nonetheless, magical. Yes. Oh, that's right, they've got the... There's a Mad Hatter. There's the Mad Hatter back there. Yeah. They also have Snow White's wishing well over here. So being that this is our last day at Disneyland, we did stop in Merlin's Marvelous Miscellany to see if they had anything unique, and they did. They had a fun Disneyland shirt. And she wrapped the ornament, so I don't wanna That's unwrap right, an it. ornament, too. Yeah, it says Disneyland, and then it's got California Adventure on the other side. Also, just the theming in general in there is pretty cool. It's a yeah. small, small shop. Nobody was in there, it was so nice. Mm, so <laughs> quaint. All right, we're gonna make our way over to the world-famous Jungle Cruise because they've got different jokes on this one than they have in Orlando. Welcome aboard the world of famous Jungle Cruise. Please remain seated with hands, arms, feet, legs inside the boat and please supervise your kids because I don't want to. My name is Skipper Zach and his first name is Skipper, last name Zach and I'm going to be your skipper, your guide, your chef, your snake charmer, your best friend, your nemesis and if you don't laugh at my jokes, your swimming instructor. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Now if you look to the right, you'll see Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. We uh, call it that because Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Me is terrible grammar. We would never allow that here in Adventureland. <laughs> Also, if you look closer through the bushes, you'll see our first sons of wildlife walking by. Look at them, folks. <laughs> yeah, they travel in packs, they walk on their hind legs, they feed off of churros and turkey legs, and they can latch onto you for 18 to 45 years. Uh, and we are approaching an ancient Cambodian shrine, built by ancient Cambodian shriners. And oh, yikes! Okay, Skipper Felix told me that's a Himalayan tiger, but I do not believe him. That looks like more of a Himastan than tiger, man. <laughs> now, tigers can jump up to 20 feet. But folks, do not worry, we're only 15 feet away, so he'll jump right over us. <gasps> oh my goodness, folks. We are now approaching the sacred bathing pool of the Indian elephant. Now, while all these elephants are decent, so feel free to take as many photos as you'd like. They all have their trunks on. That's a classic. You can tell they've been in the water a very long time. I mean, look at all those wrinkles. They should really see a pachydermatologist. Oh, look at that baby elephant. He is adorable. Now, most baby elephants can actually grow up to four feet, whereas we humans can only grow up to two. Ah. Uh, be careful, folks. A lot of people think it's water coming out of his trunk, but it's not. Oh, folks, pick it up. Get down. Folks, get down. Get down. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm, not kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call dry humor. Just look at what they did to Dr. Khan's car. They left the lights on. Yeah. How could they? Now he's never going to get it to turn over. I would try, but I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. Yeah, uh, shifting gears entirely. We have a final gorilla right there. They can reach up to speeds of 33 miles per hour, making them the fastest land mammal in the jungle. <laughs> Folks, right there is an African elephant. Do you know how you can tell it's an African elephant? Because we're in Africa. I just said it, folks. Pay attention. That'll be a quiz at the end. Uh, also, elephants can reach up the speeds of 33 miles per hour, making them the fastest land mammal in the jungle. You are going to see all sorts of animals here, folks, including the giraffes. Uh, personally speaking, I am not a huge fan of giraffes. I think they're pretty snobby animals. They tend to look down on everybody. Oh. Folks, I wish I could tell you that zebra was just sleeping. But I'd be lying. Uh, uh, it's hard to eat zebra because when you eat zebra, it keeps going light meat, dark meat, light meat, dark meat, light meat, dark meat. Ah, Felix! <laughs> Folks, that was down the bottom was my friend, Skipper Felix. He is the unluckiest skipper in the jungle. Wait a minute. The hippos must have sank Skipper Felix's boat when they said they wouldn't. It's why we call them hippocrits. Ah, uh, they did not like that joke. Uh, they are coming up out of the water. All right, Skipper's got to do what Skipper's got to do. I'm going to scare them off. Everybody cover your ears. Once again, cover your ears. There we go. That was a close one. Not my shot. My shot was way up in the air. I call that a hippo shot I miss. <laughs> By the way, if you're not laughing at these jokes, feel free to keep those ears covered. I will not be offended. That was both kind of me humor. I could tell that was a crowd pleaser. Let me see if I can translate what they're saying real quick. I am very good at speaking chimp. I lied. I'm very bad at speaking chimp. Absolutely nothing. Oh, speaking of chimps, looks like the rest of the chimps got into Dr. Moss's butterflies. Now, butterflies can actually grow from a whopping 12 inches all the way to a whopping one foot. So why we call them the rulers of the jungle. Butterflies can also reach up to speeds of 33 miles per hour, making them the fastest land mammal in the jungle. Uh, folks, this is it. The entire reason why you came to the jungle cruise. It's so beautiful, marvelous, miraculous, stupendous, eighth wonder of the world. Folks, it's the backside of water! Oh, too weak! Oh, too weak! Oh, too weak! 
Welcome back. Yeah! That is a chemistry joke. Uh, we only tell chemistry jokes around here periodically. But when we do, we really feel like we're in our element. And we have a python. We call it a python because it's 3.14 meters long. No joke. Uh, now we approach our world famous Jungle Cruise Crip Shop. Did I say Crip Shop? I meant Gift Shop. Which uh, also acts as our lost and found. So, oh, if you see something here that used to belong to you, no, you did not. Uh, look at those monkeys on top. They're trying to break a record. Break a record break a record. And uh, that monkey with the camera, we do not pay him. He just does it for the exposure. <laughs> I'm kidding. You've been outstanding. But in just a second, I am going to need you outstanding on the dock. So, as we approach the dock, please remain seated with hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat. And please supervise your kids because I still don't want to. All right, we're going to make our way into Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. The original Enchanted Tiki Room. Yeah, but first that skipper was really funny. Oh my gosh. He was great. Was fantastic, Zach the Skipper. It was Skipper, first name Skipper, skipper last name last Zach. Last name Zach, that's right. <laughs> no, I, I feel like the ones in Disneyland, they just know how to spiel and it's non-stop. Yeah. And also the jokes are different. Alright, how's your Dole Whip? It's so good. Is it as good as my float? Probably. Hey. When is this, senorita? My siestas are getting shorter and shorter. Here, you rascal, you. Let's put on the show. <laughs> ole, ole, it's show time. If we were not in the show, starting right away, we'd be the audience too. Look, here come the girls. Miguel and Lucille. Introducing the beginnings of your song. It is good fun to enjoy the original Chanted Tiki Room. Disney Church. Disney Church. You you mentioned that everyone was very respectful in there. No one was on their phones. Everyone was singing. Jose. Everyone was chiming in. Everyone woke up Jose. It was good fun. Yeah. It's always fun to see everyone participate. You don't have that same participation at Disney World. Disney Church. It's Disneyland Church. Yeah. Also worth mentioning is you can actually eat your Dole Whip inside Enchanted Tiki Room here. Can't do that in Orlando, but you can here. We ate ours too quickly. All right, so it doesn't look as bad today. It looks like the crowds are manageable. Are you taking pictures oh, of yeah. little statues? I just took this one. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. It's a good photo. Yeah, it's not too bad. The the three o'clock parade's over. And I think we're gonna go see if we can get on Storybook Canal. Cause you know, it's one of the rides we don't have. Yeah. In to steal a loaf of bread, but also our princess's heart. The two were wed and they live happily as how this is charming are living happily at the top of the castle. Well, I remember Storybook Canal Boats being a little bit more entertaining as a kid. Well, you were also little. That's true. You know what does get me excited? A guava cream cheese dipping sauce for my churro. Alright, churro number two of the day. Disneyland churro. With the guava cream cheese dipping sauce. Ooh. You ready? Oh. Oh. Is that good? Oh my god. Is it better than the pineapple one? I don't know. You don't know? They're both good. I want to try it now. Tastes the guava, but I like the pineapple one better. Yeah. Yeah, the pineapple one's better. Then there's one more that's somewhere that we haven't seen. The Mary and Berry. Mary and Berry. Where by was that at? Mark Twain. We might need to go there next. Yeah. We're going to be churred out by the end of this. We are not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Disneyland ducks. Mom's waiting for the little kiddos to get out. See them down there? There they go. Disneyland ducks. Mom's still waiting for one more. 
go. That, no, you shouldn't go that way. No, popcorn's not good for you. <laughs> Mom's like, all right, kids. But there's still one more back there. There we two more. All right, there they go. They're gonna go watch Fantasmic. Yep, they're gonna go watch Fantasmic as a family. Oh, there's another one. Oh, don't forget the straggler. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> Check it out, 616, and our group has been called for Haunted Mansion Holiday. So it is time to go on Haunted Mansion Holiday. Look at that. We have exactly one hour from the point that they call you. So we have until 7.05. But luckily for us, we're not too far. We started heading over. Yes, we knew. Decided to wear the perfect shirt for this today, right? You did, yeah. yeah. You did. I did not. Not big hair. I took a really cool photo in front of the uh, mansion as well with my shirt on, so that'll be cool. So now that we're done with Haunted Mansion Holiday, it's time to see what our next lightning lane is. It's actually our first one of the day, the Matterhorn Bobsleds, which it says it's 6:35. It was valid from 6:20 to 7:20, so we got some time. This is the last, one of the last rides we need to ride here. Monorail. Well, that too. And then you'll notice we also have Big Thunder Mountain for a third time and Indiana Jones Adventure to round out the evening. Check it out, they're getting the sailing ship Columbia ready for Fantasmic tonight. One of the big differences between the Anaheim version and the Orlando version is that they have sailing ship Columbia in a Peter Pan segment. It's actually pretty cool. Check it out. They have a Marion Berry dipping sauce for your churro right in front of the Golden Horseshoe. So this is our third churro on our churro quest of Disney. So the churro has been acquired. And the Marion Berry cream dipping sauce has been acquired as well. Now we get to eat. All right, Jen, we have acquired the churro and the Marionberry. All right, Marionberry dipping. Oh God. Oh man. Not my favorite. Not your favorite? Is it your least favorite? You don't seem very enthused. It's not bad. It's just not not very flavorful. Oh. Like, okay. I feel like the other ones were so, like... Boom, like a pineapple yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. All this right. This one's just okay. My turn. Marion Berry has been put onto the churro. Mm -hmm. Butt of the churro. Right. Okay, so I taste sweet. 
but I don't, I'm not getting hit with berries. Yeah. It's More like cream. I, yeah, it's like a cream cheese. More cream cheese than any sort of berry. Yeah, not my favorite. I'll go with the pineapple one all day. Yeah. Mm. Sure, it's good though. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the good old Matterhorn, one of a kind roller coaster here at Anaheim Disneyland. The first tubular steel roller coaster built. And there's actually two paths there's a Tomorrowland side and a Fantasyland side. Where do we go with that path? Wherever they accept it. Oh. Imagineer Bob Gurr was responsible for designing the track plan and has said that it was the hardest project that he has ever worked on. And he began working on the attraction in mid-1958 after finishing preliminary work on the submarine voyage, which we're going to be riding later. Following the closure of the Skyway in 1994, the cavernous holes through which the Skyway buckets traveled through were partially filled in and the holes in the Tomorrowland face remain mostly intact and an abandoned crate labeled Wells Expedition was also added in the crystal scene as a tribute to Frank Wells, who had died earlier that year. Back in 2012, the entire mountain was made bare again and carefully painted in style, more faithful to the look of the real Matterhorn, with more snow on the northern side and less on the southern side. The vehicle seating arrangement was also modified to accommodate a single passenger in each seat rather than a lap sitting arrangement of two riders. This resulted in three individual seats within each bobsled, with two cars linked for a total of six guests, similar to the configuration that you'd find in Space Mountain in Orlando. We're gonna get wet. A little bit. <laughs> Look, they got Yeti plush inside the tower. Here we go, Jen. visiting the chiropractor. <laughs> so we're all the way in Tomorrowland and this old round building here used to be Interventions is now a DVC club lounge which I'm sure offers really good seating for the fireworks that look over the trees here and then down below is Star Wars launch bay so they still have launch bay here. Okay, we're gonna go on the monorail now. Another fun fact, this was one of Brandon's favorite mode of transportation when he was a kid. It's like the Brandon childhood tour. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it does say here that this type of monorail, unlike the ones at Orlando, which are used as a mode of transportation to get to the parking lots and stuff and different parts, this one takes you from Tomorrowland to downtown Disney and back. And then you go all over the Autopia, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, excuse my hair, I don't have my hat. Okay. <laughs> Show off your spirit jersey. Uh, yeah, heck yeah, Disneyland. Heck yeah. Rose gold. Oh, it's got like when it established 1955. Oh. That's cool. What a gorgeous view of the submarine lagoon. With the Matterhorn, it's one of my favorite views of the park.
just parallel to the monorail track is the old people mover track or rocket rods track. Oh, it's looking rough. Our chariot has arrived. We get the blue monorail. It's one of the newer uh, Mark 7 monorails. Alright, heading in the futuristic monorail. Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters, which is the same attraction for the most part, but there is a slight difference to the ride vehicle that makes it, in my opinion, a better experience. All right, here we go. I like how the blaster can actually come off the holster and it vibrates when you hit it. Oh, you're getting a lot of points. <laughs> Oh, bonus points. Bonus points. Sometimes you gotta look in these. You gotta look in these little corners here. There we go. Get the eyeball. Oh, it's blue. It lit up blue. Do you see that? We gotta get that one. Oh man. Quick while it's stopped. Oh yeah, I got it. I got it. Rack up the points. All right up there. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. It's your last opportunity, Jen. I'm going for that purple one up there. Give me that purple one. Oh yeah, give me that purple one. All right, level three. I am a planetary pilot. 42,500. Jen, you got 18,800. Let's go on web slingers. Oh, you want to go on web slingers? I'm good at that. You're good at web. You're good at doing this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we just got off Astro Blasters. What'd you think? I like the Disney World one better. You said that on the ride. Why is that? So uh, the thing I like about this one is you can handheld. I like that too. But I feel like the scenes are just better in Disney World. Really? Like they're more like in depth and when you like hit more stuff, like certain things, stuff happens. Some stuff happens here, but not as much. The thing I, the reason I like this one more is because the rings light up for like double points. Yeah. And then there's not that weird spot where you're just going down the rotating hallway and you can't do anything. Yeah. So there's, I feel like there's stuff that you can do all the way up literally to the end. Yeah, that's true. That's my thing. Yeah. So I like this one. You like uh, the Disney yeah. yeah. Oh well. It's almost time for fireworks. Yeah. So we're going to go and try and get a good spot at the fireworks on Main Street. Yeah. So you can see the, what's it called? It's called uh, You've Got a Friend in Me. Together Forever. Together Forever. You've Got a Friend in Me. Same thing. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> all right, we are here for the Together Forever fireworks. 
which is a special fireworks show for Pixar Fest. Should be exciting. Something I also noticed is that they do things a little different here. They use ropes. They like a little bin that you have to kind of go in. It's kind of strange. We're is in it, a bin? <laughs> we're, we're in a playpen. I feel like in Orlando, they don't have this at all. They just use masking tape on the I mean, We haven't seen the fireworks there in a while, so. That's true. I don't think they use the ropes, though. Yeah. Because there's no entrance for the ropes. You just, like, crawl under it. I think it's, they have ropes on the side, but they have the tape on the... Yeah, back. probably. Yeah. All right, so we're five minutes away from the fireworks, and there's plenty of room here. Plenty of elbows. Don't jinx us. I know, I don't want to jinx us, but this is pretty encouraging to see.
So we just got done watching the fireworks. We're in the Tomorrowland Terrace theater area, jamming out to Disney Springs music. Weird. It is Disney Springs yeah. music. That is very strange. What do you think of the fireworks? Um, I like them a lot. I, it's a mashup of Pixar. Pretty much. You can't go wrong. Yeah. So highly recommend getting there early. It was kind of weird um, seeing the little like roped off areas. That was the biggest thing we noticed here at Disneyland is that they use the roping method where they rope off different areas and you just kind of go in there and take it off. Whereas but, Disney World, they use the masking tape. But what's confusing and what I was getting at is that this whole time here, we've seen a lot of people jumping over chain links and and lines and ropes, and they're always yelling, don't jump over the ropes, don't go under the ropes, don't go, go around. But then during the fireworks, they're telling people to go underneath the ropes. So, so no wonder confusing. people are getting confused. It's a little confusing, and I'm sure some guests are just difficult. But um, yeah, it was something that I noticed that was odd. But I think we're going to head over to the submarine voyage, which was one of my favorite rides as a kid. Yeah. Um, not the Finding Nemo version, but just the submarine voyage. Yeah. Um, I think it's our last ride that we need to do. Yeah. Pretty sure. I think we've done everything. We've done Star Tours. There's nothing unique about Star Tours. Um, trying to think. There's there's really nothing unique about any of the Galaxy's Edge rides. We have those oh, yeah. exact copies uh, back home. Yeah. So I think we're going to do the submarine voyage, Finding Nemo themed to Nemo. round out our night. What do you think? Yeah. Fun fact, you see this pipe that flows directly above the loading dock to Seawater Supply TL-59. TL stands for Tomorrowland. 59 is 1959 when the original submarine voyage opened. Alright, what submarine are we getting? We're getting the Mariner. Alright, Mariner 407. Oh, 407, that's the area code of Orlando. Alright, here we go, into the sub. Alright, I got my little porthole. I don't know how well we'll be able to see at night. We'll have to see. Our destination today is quite extraordinary. A newly erupting deep water volcano. We're approaching target in depth, sir. Level of gold eighty fathoms. Eighty five fathoms. Going in the cave. Steady as she goes. Sure. There we are. Say goodbye to our submarine. Yep, you see the track? It just runs on the track. And you see all the bubbles there? That's the part where you descend. Spoiler alert. 
Now, if you ever wondered what it's like on the inside of the castle, this particular castle has a retelling of Sleeping Beauty walkthrough. It's actually kind of cool in here. So it tells you a little bit about Sleeping Beauty, the story. And once you come up the steps, you've got the burning. Burning of the spindles. Ah, the spindles, that's right, that's what it was. It tells you a little bit about that. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. And then we have the spindle. Oh no. I put the curse on her. Yeah, she's sleeping. And there's Maleficent. And then climbing up the steps again, even further to the highest point of the castle. Oh, everyone's asleep. I can use a nap. <laughs> but look up at the top. Oh, I didn't even, I was like, yeah. where? We got over here. She's asleep. She's waiting for Prince Bella. Is that it? It's been a while since I've seen this movie. come out on this side over here which is the other side of the castle so you come out on the other side we entered through there you exit right behind us so yeah that's what it is on the inside of Sleeping Beauty Castle something they didn't need to do but I appreciate the thought all right now we have one last ride to go on Indy and then I'm tired <laughs> <laughs> I know you're tired uh, we only have one more left I that's know it. that's a good one yes so here we are on our final ride at Disneyland this evening. The best in the in the park in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good, yeah. It's pretty awesome. Can't wait for it to come to Orlando. Boom. Here we go, here we go. Last ride. Yep, it's that time of night where there's no one in the queue and you just keep on walking. Keep on walking. I like this sign, it's to secure all your belongings before you depart, you lose your items. And then there's a collection of lost and found right here with Andy's hat. Alright, here we go. The brakes may be needing a little bit of
check it out. Mickey and Minnie saying goodnight to everybody. Safe travels. It was great being here at Disneyland. There he goes. The big cheese himself. Well, that's going to do it here at Disneyland in Anaheim. It's been fun coming back and visiting. And we'll have to do it again soon. Back at the hotel room the next day. Of course. Because we're going to California Adventures here soon, but let's talk about Disneyland. Yes. What were your thoughts? I love Disneyland. Mm -hmm. It's like Walt Disney was there. How amazing. And I I just love it. I do. What did you think of the fireworks? I thought they were cute. Mm -hmm. Just Pixar mashup. Pretty much. No story. <laughs> yeah. What was your overall thoughts of Disneyland as a whole? Like the experience, Lightning Lane, all that stuff. So the Lightning Lane, I think we made good use of it. Mm -hmm. Um, I like that it adds all your photos, not just your ride photos. I thought that was really cool. Yeah. Um, so you get all your photos, you can book every two hours. It's clean cut, easy to do. We set alarms to book lightning lanes because mm -hmm. it made it easier. Yeah. So. And then Haunted Mansion Holiday. Yes, so it's cool. pretty awesome. And magic happens. Literally my favorite parade. Song's stuck in my head. So oh good. The next day. If you enjoyed the video, uh, be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't yet. You want to join the trek for future vlog adventures? Make sure to tap that subscribe button and tap that notification bell to become a super magic happen subscriber. Till next time, see you real soon.